Hi there, this is going to be a special love reading for this Christmas season. I woke up this morning, today is Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. And playing in my head very, very loudly and strongly was the Karen Carpenter song, Merry Christmas, Darling. And if you know that song, then you know it's an absolute beautiful song and it's talking about two people not together for whatever reasons or circumstances, but yet longing for the other person to be with them. The, the part very specifically they played like 10 times in my head was, and bear with me, Annie. Merry Christmas, darling. We're apart, that's true. But I can dream and in my dreams, I'm Christmasing with you. <sighs> when I was on live earlier, XI underscore Missy underscore XI, I felt strongly that it was something really simple that the divine masculine may have seen. Like the lights on their Christmas tree, literally. Or putting, looking at the tree topper or seeing Christmas decorations. There was something 3D and tangible and really simple that kind of tugged at them, made them think of you. And even if they've never met you yet, it's this feeling of like missing someone that's not there, but yet you miss them. It, and they feel it here in the gut, in the solar. This just, and if they do know who they're, person is or their person of interest they're thinking about that and they're going i wish it was you here with me i wish i wish i could see what your christmas tree looked like i wish you could come to christmas dinner with me and my family and it's like this distance between two people but i almost feel like it's the last of it's it's the last of the christmases or, or holidays separate you have your number 12 see look at this guardian he has the baby this is that new cycle about to birth. This is the gorgeous Oracle of Visions deck. And number 12, I mean, it's the 12th month. December, something's, remember I told you guys there was something really symbolic about December? I forget what reading it was. Wow. This card is Wonder of Creation, Protection, Destiny. The guardian angels of life fly so high as to be beyond our sight but they are always looking down upon us. Jean-Paul Jean Richter. A guardian angel is witness to the birth of the one whose life he will oversee. He is in awe of the wonder of creation and its significance. Cradling a mystical incubator in which this new life is enclosed, he understands its fragility. As he is now, so will he remain throughout offering help and support, yet knowing the limitations of his influence. Fate and destiny will play their part. The chakras and astrological zodiacs orbit the central sphere, suggesting the role they will play in this future life. But this wondrous mechanism is also man-made. A grand part of how this life will be lived and what it will achieve will not be predetermined by fate alone, but by free will and choice. This is the actual baby for some of you, but also we know it's symbolic. It's the birth of a new life. It's almost like, and, and we're going to go real deep in here. These two people that are going to be coming together and kind of missing each other right now if they're not together, which I feel they're not together, okay, this Christmas. I feel like this is also, imagine two people birth. One is this sign, one is that sign. Astrologically, this was your map. Astrologically, this was your map. Living two very different lives. Paths have never crossed until the moment it's meant. And now this moment, it's almost like you were born for this one moment. The moment of meeting, this faded moment of The new life of existence between the two of you. I don't know how else to say it. it. It's as if like. I was born to love you. Wow. 
I was born to love you. And it's symbolic, not even in the romantic aspect. I was born to love you, speaking to my child. That's what I was born to do. I was born to love you. Oh, that's fucking amazing. Number 12, 1 plus 2 is 3. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Source, or God. The Holy Trinity here, y'all. But also number 12, it's the midnight hour. It's the final chapter. It's the last page in the book. T number 12 could be really significant for some people, okay? Now we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You also have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I feel like it's literally, I was born to love you, but I was also meant to meet you at this time, at this place, like this. Even if you think it's taken forever and it's too long and, oh my God, it's never going to happen. It happens at the exact moment I feel that it's meant to. The other thing here, right, they talked about this free will. I feel like free will has occurred in some stories and has caused what was projected to happen not to happen because someone may have copped out and chosen free will. And so it alters, it's the butterfly effect. So they're going to choose not to do this or to be with this person or not be with this person or whatever they chose. Now it's almost as if like we go to the next possibility of what it could be. Free will was someone so thankful someone else chose differently. Meaning maybe they someone didn't choose you, right? And then you meet someone new and they go, holy fuck thank you god for the person who gave you up who didn't want you who didn't choose you thank you god it, it has that feeling to it of somehow free will altered this and it's on the other person's end and i think that the person's gonna say thank you god you guys ever heard that song god bless the fool god bless the fool who let you walk out the door? God bless the fool who let you get away. Because I've got you now. That's what the song says. God bless the fool. I've got you now. I talked about it on my live. About how maybe if this is a Christmas you're spending alone. Just imagine. Christmas is in the future. How you're going to be with this person. Your person. And their family. And their family is going to be so thankful for you. Or you and your kids. And like just be like thank you. Whoever didn't want them. Because they're ours now. It has that feeling to it of, thank you, God bless the fool who let you get away. You have the rider and the stars. Something is destined and fated to happen here with the stars. The rider is also a younger male energy. This can also be a visitor or a new message. I gotta be honest with you, I think it's all of the above for some. It's almost like they get, there's some kind of message here, either sent or received or or saw they saw something remember we talked about it something tangible too could be something in the 3d yeah prayer it's all my prayers answered god bless the fool god bless the fool who lets you get away you're mine you're mine now i've got you now the tree spiritual growth tree of life but this is also roots a whole new life is going to take place with you and this person I feel like when it's the person, it's instant. Don't fall madly, deeply in love. Two of you will be madly, deeply in love. It will not be karmic. It will be real, true love. And it's an instant marriage and commitment together. Instant. There's no waiting period here. Because it's like I've waited lifetimes to get you. Or to get you back. Maybe this is a story, a tale as old as time, of several suitors always fighting over you. And maybe there has been there's been a particular suitor that wasn't so lucky in past lives and lost you to other people. You have here the clouds. Misunderstandings. Something is clarified. It's like what is clarified? Tell us. I don't know. I just feel like there's gonna be a discussion or a talk. And something is clarified or 
No, it's clarified. I was gonna say or, and they're like, mm, it's clarified. So it's like the truth and illumination, like the sun, clarity comes. But I feel like it's communication, the journal. It's been pre-written, predestined. Someone also prayed for you, wished for you, wrote you down in their intentions. The clock tower comes at the very last second, comes at the midnight hour. December is huge because December is the 12th month. Number 12 here, remember? December 12. Even though we don't go by the man-made calendar and clock and shit, right? How crazy is it that energetically it feels fucking spot on? It feels like December this month is really seriously the ending of things. And then rolling into January 2020 is a new energy. It's just energetically, it matches the man-made calendar. Which doesn't always happen that way. It's also striking them. Like it's they got struck. Remember I was talking about the strike, the struck. Mm, the lightning strikes them. But it's also they're struck by something. Struck with the truth. Struck with a realization. Struck with this feeling of missing someone. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I feel like I'm going to just die. I miss them so much. But it's like on the masculine's end. And maybe they miss someone they've never met before. And that's just freaking them out. Why do I feel like I miss somebody? I just feel this longing of like this person and the person's not here. Like, I don't know what the fuck. But it's like energetically they can feel this. The clock is about to strike midnight. So yeah, for some of you, it's New Year's Eve. I've been channeling. He comes at the midnight hour for like over a year. Since last year. And is it as generic as, oh, it's New Year's Eve? It could be. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like for throughout that one year I've channeled it, it's been so many different things for so many different people. Sometimes what I channel is very specific and it never changes. And I go, no, 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 no. It's that, it's that, it's that. And some things can be kind of generalized for people more so. And the, and the he comes at the midnight hour, I think, is one of those things where it's, it could be so many things for so many different people. Oh my, would you look at what's on the bottom of the deck? Number four, look at them. They're both wearing a masquerade, the, uh, 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 a mask. I, uh, uh, I kind of spit it out because I know this is going to be really hella fucking important somehow. Where did my book go? Why do I feel like this is going to be super fucking uber important? Masquerade, the mask, the mask comes off. It's like hiding two of them perspective and point of view i was once like you are now and i know that it's not easy to be calm when you found something going on but take your time think a lot why think of everything you've got for you will still be here tomorrow but your dreams may not lyrics from father and son cat stevens there may be no right or wrong the view is the same but its perception is different fresh ideas and experience sharing the same eyes but a different vision Two manifestations of the same person share a commonality. One from the fresh, eager innocence of youth. The other from the calmer, sobering maturity of experience. Both grasp the same mask in unison. Their destinies entwined and ultimately inseparable. At some point, both will see the same vision. It's like the, uh, the younger and older vision. Someone that's seasoned over someone who's not. You want to know what I feel instinctively this is about? someone's going to regret this you know how when they say when people are young and stupid they may not realize like i met the love of my life too young too early not as experienced and i let them go and now in my older years i look back and i go oh my god there's a feeling of regret here that is going to come in time it just has this feeling to it of, and this could be very specific for some of you that had dealings with a person when you guys were young, they let you go. And when I mean young, it could have been three years ago. It doesn't have to be when you're children, children, right? It could be just then. When, when they were seized, not as seasoned emotionally and vibrationally or whatever. Because age is nothing but a number, yeah. It's all about the energy and shit, right? So any case, I feel like with knowledge and time and experience it's taught them they let you go and someone else comes along and says god bless the fool i've got you now 
I've actually talk, talked about this song, God Bless the Fool, before. I don't remember if it was in 2017 or 2018. Some of you will have to rem remind me. And for fuck's sake, it's coming up right now again. Because it's going to be this. Imagine you meet a dude or, right, or whatever, right? Like, I'm going to meet my husband. And he's going to tell me about how he went through all this shit with other people. And they didn't appreciate him. Or they took advantage of him. And you're just going to think to yourself, thank you, bitch. <laughs> Thank you, God, universe, this bitch, let him go. Because he's mine now, and I'm never, ever going to fucking let him go. I'm, it's, oh, my God, I'm never. It's, oh, my God, like, how did I look out? And it is perspective. You know the, the saying, one person's trash is another person's treasure? It's exactly what this energy is about. One person's trash is another person's treasure. And I feel like at some point, somebody may have let you go. And someone came along and saw how valuable you were. And the a person who let you go is regretting that now. Ooh. All right. Ooh, it's a lot of juiciness, huh? I'm going to do an extended version. If you'd like to purchase it, click on the link below. We are going to get into the tarot side of this. So I'm going to be using the Sexual Tarot Magic deck. So it will be an intimate reading. And I will also clarify using maybe the Everyday Witch Tarot. I love this gorgeous deck that I got as a gift from Sahar. Today is Christmas Eve. I want to wish you all a very happy and safe, beautiful Merry Christmas. And you know what? This may be the last Christmas you spend alone if you are alone. And I want you to be really hopeful. We don't ever feel the lack of not having. We always, always feel abundant. And we always feel complete regardless if we're with a person or not. Because our happiness comes from within, right? Our cup is always full. Our cup runneth over because we fill that fucking cup, right? It's what it is. And a reminder, if you want to book a reading with me, I am only doing emergencies. And <sighs> emergencies are five to seven days from your payment, okay? And for everyone waiting on their readings from me, please be patient. I'm pumping them out as quickly as I can. By the end of this month, all bracelets should be going out. I did put up more pre-orders of my Breaking Dawn. See the Breaking Dawn? I did put up more pre-orders of Breaking Dawn. Um... I might still also add some I Am Love spots too, but we'll see. But Breaking Dawn's available right now if you want to purchase, okay? All right, you guys, I'll see you guys later. See you in the extended. Love you.